All right, how you doing today? Today we'll be taking a look at Electric Mint here from Native Instruments and their other guitars will work with this as well. Now here's a really cool trick to keep your key switches and your chord triggers separate on different MIDI files. So let's just check this out. Also, please do check out the channel. I have hundreds of other videos here in my back catalog. A lot of really cool stuff, music production, free VSTs, all kind of stuff. But anyways, let's get right into this. So here we have the electric mint guitar. And as you may know, we have the chords up here that you can play. And then you have the key switches down here in a different octave. Now what I like to do now is go over to my file here. I have the chords triggering here, but I don't have any key switches in here at the moment. And to keep things more organized is what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to track other new track with same instruments. There is just a keyboard shortcut for that as well. Just like that. And now I have two of these and I'm just going to create a file here, MIDI file. And then we're going to go back here. So we have C1. We can change our patterns. We have four patterns here now. So these four notes will be the key triggers or the whatever they're called, <laughs> key switches. And then we could write those in on this MIDI file to keep things a little more organized. There's our C1. So we'll do that. Maybe bar two, we'll switch to that one. We'll just see this randomly to see what happens. Obviously, you're going to want to work on your patterns and figure out what works in your song. But sometimes just doing random stuff comes up with some interesting things too. All right, so let's get out of here. And by the way, what that does is that these two instruments are linked. They're both the same. One instruments or one instance of contact seven here, but they're both controlled by these two parts here. Um, and you can put them in a summing stack. I did it with this guitar over here, as you can see. Got got chords. I got MIDI data on that one. And, and this works really good in the melody mode too. So you can write your melodies on, on top and stuff. You know, whatever the key switches may be. So let's see what this sounds like. Let's mute or do it solo first. All right, so there's a little more organization. Let's play it in the song. So then you can experiment around. Maybe you just want that beat there, do that. So that way you have a less clutter on your MIDI file when you're trying to do stuff here. You could even do this and keep it very simple. And then you don't have all those extra notes there. And it's just a very clean way or more organized way of doing all your key switches. So very quick tip today. That is all for now. Let me know what you think. And by the way, this works with many other instruments too. It doesn't have to be just the guitars here and native instruments. I want anything that has key switches or, you know, whatever. So check it out. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.